Hello everyone and welcome back to Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Okay, so we're about to start, like, this underwater area. Are you ready? It's now or never. I'm ready. Listen. You will breathe water for a short time, not for long. Swim past. My magic will guide you within element plane. It will lead you to gate to tower. I hope so. I'm ready to go. I know I'm gonna jump into this, I'm gonna go, oh, I remember this. I don't know if I remember this, actually. I Wait, why are there so many save points? I mean, two isn't a lot, but they're right next to each other. Oh my god. Was that a pallet? <laughs> Gargoyles? Oh my god! Hey, you don't just kill me. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, no, okay. I used a lot of uh, potions to start, and this place is basically a point of return. So I want to be as prepared as possible. Halberd of Defense. We don't use halberds. how they just like shatter into stone when you kill them i mean it makes sense but like <laughs> i feel like most other games would just have them like fall over I, it's really fun to watch one of those lightning balls, like, just barrel through a ton of stuff. Might as well use my magic pretty liberally if they're just gonna shower me in these things. Okay, yeah, no recall potion is possible. Oh, those! We haven't seen those in a while! Also, if we can't use these, I might as well throw them out so I can have room for other stuff. Might as well throw these out too. I think I meant to sell that, but forgot. If I need a hundred arrows for something, I think that's the game's fault. Scale boots plus three. Thirteen. Eight. No. Wait, no. I... What is that? Oh, that's a cool looking enemy! It's like a clockwork knight. Like some kind of 
Gear Golem. At least I know I can come back here if I ever run out of potions. Also, surprising to see that there's not actually a time limit here, despite the fact that Sleevox said we had to hurry through here because, like, our water-breathing magic would run out or something. Huh. Might be yet another thing they wanted to do, but kind of ran out of time to do. Because I've mentioned before that it's very obvious they were, like, running out of budget for game by this point. Frost Mithril Light Mace of Defense. Hold on. 12 to 63. I have no room for that. It's more heavy. Wait, 15 to... 15 to 63. 15. It, it is better. Very marginally. And it gives me more defense. I think this is better for me, honestly, because I really do like this ice effect. What is that? Like, slabs of steel? This is a weird-looking area. At least he's slow. Elemental weaknesses aren't a thing in this game, but it kind of feels like lightning does more to him. Ah. Let's try the other way. Feels like this enemy either does one damage or a billion damage. Like, a little frustrating. I kind of like this music too. It feels very, like, desolate. Like, it really does feel like the end of the world is coming. Half plate helmet plus five. That might be better. Morning star of disruption. Okay, okay, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. That's better 
and less expensive. Or less less heavy. That's amazing. And the Morning Star of Disruption. Which is not as good. Weird that now they introduce a bunch of like, you know, armor that's actually worth looking at. Bro, I was defending. I just feel like I should really keep my distance from that guy. That is a really cool looking enemy though. I'm here, I might as well. Let me go ahead and break these two. Wait, what did that say? Onyx Tower Basement. Wait, you don't even go through the water area? Oh my god, they were running out of budget. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we're gonna build up this really cool sounding water dungeon and then we're just gonna skip it. <laughs> oh, oh, I kind of blended into the floor there. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't know why, but I really like the look of this area. It feels like marble, but also like gothic and dark. That's a really cool combination. It really does feel like, you know, final dungeon of a dark fantasy-esque. <laughs> like it pulls it off really well. Oh! Okay. You breathe poison! I can't say I expected that. Okay, you're dead. Um...
Okay, arrow traps. I haven't seen these in a while. I think I just ran through it without taking damage somehow. Ooh. Hold on, can't enemies take damage from this? Yes, they can! <laughs> Okay, nice big long corridor we can throw this down. Oh, come on. What happened to the camera there? <laughs> you know, I have no reason to not take these. I'm not gonna use the recall potions, though. Now you do. As I find more extra potions, though, as this place is, is seems to love to load them on top of me, I'll just shuffle those out if I haven't used them yet. Better to have them than not, or better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them, I guess. I'm curious. Okay, it still does a lot of damage. I swear I ran past it a couple times, got hit, and like barely got hurt, and I was thinking like, did they not upgrade those to like be balanced with the kind of like armor you would have at this point in the game? <laughs> like they literally just copy pasted the asset maybe? I would not put that past this game at this point in development, I don't know man. <laughs> wow, those things really don't have a lot of health. Uh oh. There we go. I 
I, yes, I am this paranoid. I, okay. Is that guy just, just standing in the air? What is that? fun though like unlike a lot of the other areas in act three i actually feel compelled to explore a lot of this place because the game is actually giving me good items now like actual upgrades to stuff i already have like meaningful and like side grades that i actually have to meaningfully think through yeah i forgot that that was kind of an issue with this game honestly or at least something i could perceive as an issue it's like, I really did just get to the new area, buy the equipment I needed, and then never t and was like, and then basically just sold everything else. From my experience with games like Diablo, a big draw of games like this is that, like, I don't know, that, like, anticipating tension that, like, you know, right around the corner could be your favorite art weapon you've ever used. Like, you never know what you're gonna get at any given moment, and that's exciting. But, like, in a game like this, I open up, like, a chest and I find, like, two potions and, and like, a weapon I would find myself using at the early game of, like, Act 1. Or at the late part of Act 1. Like, it's just, like, it, it makes me wonder why am I even bothering to explore. Here, though, like, it actually, like, I swear every chest has given me at least something interesting to look at, or to consider, even if I didn't end up going for it. I'm gonna stay out of the water. I I'm gonna keep my distance here, because I don't want to get killed right at the save point again. Okay. Is this, like, a mini-boss? This looks like a- this is the most mini-boss-looking room I've ever seen. Oh god. Actually, I can take on one of you. Hey, what are you doing over there? <laughs> That's the tower. Or the tower proper. You know, we just saved. 
I'm surprised I can block your attacks. I just wanted to test that. There's many large enemies you... Okay, you can't block that. Many large enemies you can't block their attacks. Ooh, yes. I thought that might have been a trap or something. That also would have been a very interesting set piece. This is a very large room. I'll clear out everything in this room and then we'll move on. I don't want to, like, explore everything, everything, because, like... Hey, what's the point of that alcove over there? I do want to get a move on, but, like, at the same time, the game is giving me two chests, like, right here. Okay, we got a bomb. Amulet of Strength. If I was any other class, that would be kind of incredible to have right now. Oh, God, yeah, this feels like a good restock room right here. What do we got? Scale mail plus five. Um, that's probably better than what we have, actually. It's 30 pounds. You know, I'm going to do something real quick. Give me a moment. I have no room for that. So, a little bit of a funny story with this game. It's, okay, that's 21. That's 26. It is better. It looks really cool as well. <laughs> Okay, so, a little bit of a funny story with this game, um... So this game kind of does that Animal Crossing thing where, like... You know, your, um... The stuff you have equipped is, like, equipped to your model. And when you take your stuff off, there's, like, a little... Um, there is, like, a layer of clothing underneath as well. For the other two characters, it's kind of a generic-looking, like, you know... Very short trousers and, um, and, like, t-shirt. I noticed this when I was playing earlier, but for specifically the elf, this, like, under outfit is really revealing. <laughs> it's not, like, not safe for work revealing. I mean, the game is rated T after all. But, like, I, I saw that when I was, like, testing this 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 out to, to see if I could do a playthrough of it, and I was like, I might want to, like, censor around that. Like, it, it is at that extent, at least. <laughs> And then I was noticing that whenever I would change my, my body armor, you might have noticed this whenever I changed other types of armor too, but for one frame, it like removes the armor you have equipped, like so you can see the under armor like model, and then puts on the actual armor. I have changed my equipment twice on screen, so at two random points in the playthrough, I have had to go back and, and, and censor one frame. <laughs> Again, I probably don't need to censor it. Again, the game is Ray T after all. It's not like actually like explicitly revealing, but it is very it is very swimsuit-esque, you know? <laughs> very minimalist swimsuit-esque. I mentioned this right at the start of the playthrough, but the reason why I played as the elf is because, um... I, I, I had, like, no opinion on which character I wanted to play as, so I just asked in my Discord, like, hey, first name I see I'll play as, and someone said elf, so I'm playing as the elf. <laughs> that is one thing I did not expect that I know I would not have had to do with any other one. I don't need 160 arrows. If I need 160 arrows to take something down, that's the game's fault. Like, I... <laughs> I will say, that is actually some really badass-looking armor, though. I love the look of that. Okay, okay. Let's actually move on. What are we at, anyway? 30 minutes? Alright, let's go. So now we're in the, the tower proper. I forgot how long this dungeon is. I don't know, like, how long it is off the top of my head. So for some reason, I barely remember this part of the game. 
That might just be because I never really got this far ever, though. More of the Minotaurs, okay. Are they too big to fit through the door? Oh, no, 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 they're not. Uh That's a lot of arrows. <laughs> I guess they must, like, think that if you're playing as the human, you're going to be using your arrows all the time at this point, and since you can't go back to her stock, they're just going, you know what, just give them every arrow known to me like make every single chest and like crate drop like 60 of them why am i still collecting money i haven't needed money for like this entire chapter uh okay that is a very long name hold on i need to see what this is oh my god yo that is a flat upgrade it doesn't even weigh anymore No, no, yeah, you do. Just drop that. It doesn't even seem that much slower, either. Full plate boots plus three. That might be an upgrade, actually. Uh, okay, you have a range. Yeah, yeah, keep your distance. Uh, 13 to 15, that's fine. That's an upgrade. Really? How many do I have right now, anyway? Around 15 of each, I can work with that. Oh, I didn't even see that save point there. Like, that completely blends in. Yeah, we'll take that.
That's a cool looking chest. Oh my god! Regeneration, rejuvenation. That's insane. I really like that we got that. Oh, right, they're four away. Another scimitar. 36 to 88. No, 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 no. That's a flat upgrade from that. I'm, I'm gonna go back and save, actually, because that ring is just so good. I don't want that to be re-rolled if I die or something. Also, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this next level up of mine. It's like, I can't really afford any of the skills I add to upgrade any of the skills I would actually want to upgrade, and I think all the cheap ones that I want I have right now. God, that was a horrible choice for me to, uh, for me to upgrade Flaming Hands all the way, because, like, I, I, even when fully upgraded, that skill just doesn't seem that good. I know I'm not gonna get, like, that, that much, um, from this, uh, from this final, uh, upgrade as well. Like, ability points. All of your clank sounds sound like death sounds. <laughs> Flaming Adamant Morti Mo Morning Star plus Mortima Star, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my favorite dark fantasy character, my favorite D D character, Mortimer Star. Guys, it's Feigned B-Ball Star, Mortimer Star. Okay, how much does this do? 36 to 88. No room? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna hold on to it. Shocking burst, fine great sword of defense. <laughs> These fucking m modifiers. All right, Thir fifty-six to ninety-two. Oh my god! It's not even better. Like. <laughs> Wait, where'd my other weapon go? Did I drop it? Wait, or did I drop it somewhere I can't reach? I'm not that dumb, right? Where'd my fire sword go? Ah, the sword looks cooler anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't believe my fire sword faded out of existence, or I just I just didn't see it drop somewhere.
Ooh! Ah, oh, okay, okay, fine. Holy shit, did you actually just one-shot me? Why do I keep getting more and more expensive armor if that's just gonna happen? Serrated Mithra Short Sword of Defense. 36 to 88. I doubt this is going to be better, but I'm going to check into it. No, no. It looks like I'm going back to a place I've been before. Oh, this is the start. I just went a big circle. Wounding Bastard Sword.
Custard Swords are such a weird name for a weapon. I think the reason they're called that is because, like, they're, they're like, too small to be a two-hand sword, but too large to be a one-handed sword. So they're, like, a bastardized version of a sword. There's something in between, so they call it a bastard sword. I see a bastard sword featured in a lot of games, but none of them ever, like, ever, like, actually, like, take that into account in terms of, like, how, what it does. They just, like, make it a generic looking sword. I mean, I was, I'm really surprised if half these games call it that just because it's kind of a, it's kind of a weird name. It's like, <laughs> it's... It's like, hey, what if we named our weapon a pejorative? <laughs> or is that the right word for that? I don't know, you know what I mean. Like, it's not a nice thing to call someone a bastard. But it's a cool thing to call your weapon. I think fall down animation is really cool. Oh, okay, more of these guys. I'm kind of waiting to meet some new enemies. I'm already tired of these minotaurs, and we only saw them in one area. Now, given it's the only thing we saw in that one area, these golems, these, like, gear golems are really cool, though. You were kind of obstructed there. gloves. That can't be better than that, right? Twelve? No, it isn't. Scale boots plus I can tell you I'm not going to equip that.
burst masterwork hand if it's not at least enchanted i'm just gonna assume it's not as good as what i have oh that's a flat upgrade from that okay now we have a ring of regeneration and a ring of rejuvenation and an amulet of rejuvenation so we have a lot of mp recovery right now i wait a second ah uh, you know there might be enemies in that room yeah, let's just play it safe, especially since we just got a really cool, uh, ring. Oh, there's an enemy in this room. Okay. Scale mail plus five. Um. Do I have too many stuff dropped? Why can't I drop that? What? Are there too many items on the ground or something? I've never seen that error before. It's identical to what I have. I'm not... yeah, it's... nah. It's like, I wanted to check it out, but I didn't want to have to turn off the recording again. It shoved. Ooh. Oh, there we are. This might be our final level up of the game. Okay, okay, uh... God, Charisma is probably useless for us at this point. Let's just get more, um... More Dexterity. Yeah, as I feared, we don't have enough to upgrade either of these. That's 22. Fuck it, let's just like hold on to that for now. I forgot how long this area is as a whole. It could be long enough to have another level up in it for all I know. <laughs> God, I really made a terrible decision to, to level up just those minor stuff earlier. Okay, okay, we gotta be a little careful here. Ugh. Ugh. Ideally, I would like to level up the sword one more time. Just because that passive damage is really nice. Masterwork, long, sword, of, defense. Okay. <laughs> And that's everything. Oh, wait. Chain boots plus five. Fifteen. Twelve. Nope. All plate boots are better. All right.
Alrighty then, level two. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> if I get on these boxes, can you hurt me? Oh my god, they can't. Oh no, no, they can't hurt me up here. Uh. <laughs> god damn it. Oh, I gotta, I gotta fight these guys again. Flaming Halberd, plus five. Think about it. How do you shove? Um. Uh, how do you shove a quiver of twenty arrows and a uh, in in two potions inside of a tiny pot like that? It does. It. <laughs> Damn, this is annoying. Uh. Dude, why are the tiny gargoyles the hardest enemies here? Ugh, alrighty then. Uh... Well, right about an hour. I think I will... Ring of Rejuvenation plus four. I think what we have is better. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.